get some kind of role where he was not <clears throat> or a disturbed guy or the nasty guy. But as you can see, here he is still doing it in his last film, so it really didn't work. The only time he got to be a real honest to God hero was when he started in combat for five seasons in the 60s. But then by the end of the 60s, he'd gotten a divorce from his first wife, Barbara Turner. He was depressed about that. And he didn't get to see his two daughters, and he was depressed about that. And he was not getting any good acting parts, and he was depressed about that. And then he gave one of the greatest performances of his life as the coach in the Bad News Bears, coach of the other team, the one Walter Matthau competes against. Remember how you just hated him? And that led to nothing for him. And then his own daughter started getting more famous as an actor than he was, Jennifer Jason Lee. And so he ended up doing really cheap B-movies, and, and he played the commodities markets, and he drank a lot. And it was Twilight Zone, the movie, that he thought would give him his big comeback role. But he told the director, John Landis, that he was worried about the final scene of his story because he had a premonition many years before that he would die in a helicopter accident. And so around 2 o'clock in the morning on the night of July 23rd, 1982, they were shooting that scene next to a mock Vietnamese village. And the first